One of the most tedious jobs in safety are those jobs that take about 15 minutes, require fall protection, and have no easy way of anchoring. You know, like the types of jobs that are on top of a rail car or a flatbed trailer or a job trailer, and there's just no easy way around it because falls from heights are still the number one cause of death in construction, and they're also one of OSHA's most cited violations. Hi, I'm Rachel Walla with Ally Safety, and I thought in today's video, we would do something a little bit different and go test out a potential solution to the fall protection anchorage problem. So there's three things that I'm interested in checking out with this piece of equipment. One, of course I wanna see if it's gonna be a good solution for me and potentially some of my clients. Two, I'm hoping they let me run it. Uh, it's partly for ease of use and then partly just because if you're gonna ask somebody to run something like this, you wanna see how easy it is. Uh, number three, I'm hoping they let me fall from heights while using this equipment. They've got all the testing. It seems like an excellent piece of equipment, but I'm interested to see how it actually reacts. And also, if you're gonna ask somebody to be tied off to it, it's good to have a demonstration. So here we go. Hey, how we doing? Good, I'm Rachel. Yeah. Hi Rachel, I'm Brian. Nice hey, to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. So I wanted to come take a look at the X-Series and I was kind of curious, what was the intended purpose of this when you designed it? The intended purpose of the X-Series mobile grabber is to provide overhead protection where none exists. So if you're in a situation where you have to get on a surface that's above a height that OSHA says, then you need to be tied off. So this provides a hook in the sky where there is no hook in the sky. Okay. Yeah, like when I saw it, my initial thoughts were things like flatbed trailers, rail cars, getting on top of storage units, those types of things, yeah. you know, especially like job trailers, those last minute inspections, mm -hmm. they always seem to get us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, it's used for that. It's also used um, for airplane maintenance. Um, it's used all across, you know, we've sold to actual um, states themselves. So they use it on bridge systems or whatever they may need. Um, so these are used across all industries. There's not one specific use for it. It's anywhere you need tie off where you don't have it. Okay, great. So I was kind of interested looking at it. I see you got some solar panels up mm -hmm. here. Now, when I first saw it, I thought that could be useful indoors, but I was worried about exhaust, but it looks like it's electric. Yeah, it's a full battery hydraulic system. It runs off of 12 volt deep cycle battery. So you do have these solar panels. They're a really nice option. Okay. Um, they only work with, we have four different models. So the X1000 is our base model. It's a hand pump manual. So you wouldn't need the solar power. There is no battery with that model. Um, it's for two users, 17 to 22 feet working height. Um, we have the X1240, which looks very similar to the 60 here. It's for two users and it has a max height of 30 feet. We have the X1250, which is for three users. It has a max height of 34 feet. And this is the X1260, it's for five users, and it has a max height of 34 feet. Okay, so this is like the king of the X series. Yep, we brought the big boy out. All right, nice. So I see there's a tow hitch here. Uh, what would I need to tow this? Uh, every one of our units comes with a standard two and five sixteenths inch ball hitch. So just a two and five sixteenths inch ball. Um, and I would suggest at least a half ton pickup to okay. tow this down the road. Uh, these do weigh 6,000 pounds, so you need something that can handle that type of weight going down the road. All right, so I've got a Jeep Wrangler. Is it gonna pull this? Uh, I would suggest you don't try it with a Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> um, the systems do come complete with braking systems and everything like a, like a good trailer should, but it's not something that needs to be towed behind maybe a Jeep. Okay. A pickup is the optimal. Got it. And now are these forklift pick points? Yes, every one of our units come with fork pockets uh, okay. as a way to move them. Another way to move them would be the crane picks right here on every one of our riggers, that top hole. Yeah. That's your crane pick in case you have to lift it up on a surface. Okay. Um, the other way to do it would be our mobile go system right here. 
These are friction drive motors. They clamp onto the tire using this right here. Very simple, just 19 millimeter lug wrench, lock it against the tire. And from there, you'll use this handy dandy remote. Uh, you can see we got a forward and a backwards. And then you use these to operate the wheels. You can operate them independently. Okay, so you can position the whole unit remotely. Yeah, you have 360 degrees of mobility with this and it has a really nice tight turning radius. It's great for final positioning, backing it into a spot where you can't get a pickup or a fork truck. Yeah, that's cool. So I have two thoughts come to mind when I see that. And partly because I'm in safety and one's, okay, it could be good because you can kind of spot where you're moving it in tight areas. So yep. you could have a spotter and communicate and move it remotely. But the other one is, I can see people moving this while somebody's tied off to it and thinking it's a human crane. Yeah, it's not intended to lift a person or any tools. Okay. Um, the idea is to tie off safely. So once you get this to a working height, you'll use a tag line to pull down the snap hook of your SRL and then hook up. Okay. You never want to raise the mast or lower the mast with anybody hooked to it. So, um, you know, in the case of a fall, mm -hmm. What you need to do is get the rest of the workers untied from the machine and then the person that's that's hanging there that had the fall, you can use this to lower that worker to the ground. Oh, so it can self-rescue. Well, you need somebody else down here running the remote. Oh, okay. So we have the remote here. It's very simple. This is our 15 foot pendant. It's a standard remote that comes with every unit. One button, one function. You can see the up, down, the out and in of the extension. We tried to keep it very simple, very user friendly. Yeah, that's nice for different languages too. No need to translate. Definitely, you yeah. can tell what it does. So <laughs> it just plugs right in um, and you would be able to use the machine with that. Okay. Now we do have this add-on option. It's our wireless remote. Same thing, one button, one function. Okay. The nice part about this is, number one, you don't have a cord to trip over. But secondly, you can walk completely around the machine as you're raising the mast if you're in a tight spot and make sure you're not hitting anything as you're going up. Yeah. So the freedom of movement with this is, is very beneficial. Yeah, I can see that being used uh, like inside factories yeah. or sometimes in the city uh, where we don't have very much room and there's a lot of lines, yeah. it's just really tough. Yeah, you get some tight spots and having that ability to walk around both sides of the machine as you're going up, it, it's really nice feature. So what have we got around the back here? What we have back here is our 100 foot three-way rescue system now with these what it does is it's a hundred foot standard srl okay so you'll use this uh, whenever you're working anytime you need to tie off you always have this unit with the machine but in case you have a fall or if you're working in a confined space because these are great for confined space units if you have an issue and you need to rescue a worker you will pull this pin on the side the handle pops out and at that point, it becomes a winch. So now you can raise or lower the worker to safety Okay, with this. so very cool. It's basically like a fall protection tripod. Definitely. Then. Yeah, okay. But it's mounted here. Um, it's mounted just like a hitch mounts to a truck. Mm -hmm. Just slide it in and pin it. Um, also, a nice feature about this is that you can use this in fall restraint. Okay. Pull that pin, it locks the system, and that worker can't go past what the srl allows them oh so that's pretty simple actually it's a then. really nice feature to yeah. have yeah yeah so fall restraint and fall arrest yep and confined space rescue definitely so it looks like there's five attachment points on here mm -hmm. could you hook up five people at once yes really yep it's been fully tested uh it okay the osha standards here for the five users on the x6 uh, x1260 so at any point as you're going up, you can use this to tie off five workers. So what if two workers fall? Is it still gonna be able to hold their weight? Yes, yep. We, uh, we've done static testing as well as the fall test. So it'll hold their weight. Only okay. thing you gotta do is get the other workers down safely before you lower those workers to the ground. Okay. The last option here that we have that's available is our grounding lugs. Um, this is a great option. We, you would get two with each unit, one here and one on the other side. And it, if you have to work in an area where you're near some high voltage lines, um, we do have a nice chart on the other side where you can see kilovolts and how far to stay away from there. Okay. But if you have to get closer, this gives you the option to ground the machine so that you can safely work closer to high power. Yeah, power. that's a really nice feature to have yeah, actually. it is. So I've got one more question for you. 
What do you got? Are you going to let me run it? <laughs> it's all yours. One thing that's important to note with this is it needs to be within two degrees of level. That's both front and back and side to side. Once you've got the boom raised to about eye level, you want to check out these five anchor points. Each of them has to be able to swivel 360 degrees. You also want to check them for corrosion and any cracks. Each of these is rated to hold a worker up to 310 pounds. Okay, now we're ready to hook up our SRL. Next up, you want to hook up your tag line. The point of the tag line is to make it so that you can raise the mast without having somebody hooked up with their fall protection gear. Raise the mast first, and then you can use the tag line to lower the hook to meet the employee who's getting hooked up. Okay, now I've got a feel for it, let's see it in action. Okay, so that was interesting. If you have a use for the X-Series, let us know in the comments below how you would use it at your work site. If you liked that video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later. So originally we came out here to look at the X-Series, the 1260 model in particular, but we just found out today they have a new model that hasn't been released to the market and they let us film it. So I'm gonna show it to you just so you can get an idea of what it's like. So this is the x 500. It's got fork pockets down here so you can lift it with a forklift or it can just be held stationary. As you can see, it's not even painted with the graphics yet. These are the weights. They're still testing it out. But the cool thing about this is although it's more of a fixed anchor point overall, it's a system that you can pivot by hand. So that's one tie-off point for a person, and they can be within 30 degrees of that tie-off point. So some good applications for this could be lay-down yards or on top of rail cars, but honestly, there's quite a few places that it could be useful. We just wanted to give you an idea and show you what it is and how it works so that you knew about that along with the other X-Series.